Welcome, welcome, welcome. We appreciate you joining us here, the five and five. It was a weird night. Jokic, the Joker, out last night, so we go two, two, and one. But okay, okay, we end the week now on a Saturday. We always take Sunday off with five more bets in five minutes. I know. Who cares? You don't care about the background, anything else like that. You just want the picks. You just want the picks. Really? Like, I couldn't even bring this guy back? It wouldn't do anything for you at all? Got a shout-out from Andy with this cat behind me here. By the way, this dude's from Philadelphia, so recognize. I mean, it wouldn't matter at all if we went full hasa on you. Hey, five and five, okay? Five and five. Let's do it. Start the clock, will you? First bet on the board already. Pacers plus eight and a half. This was at seven and a half last night when we talked about the leans and the locks and the others. And now I love it even more at eight and a half. That's fine. Indiana is clearly not the same team without Tyrese Halliburton. There's not going to be an argument there. But we did see them play tight last night. And I don't mean that as far as just the proverbial, just the old-fashioned sense of like, couldn't do anything and they struggled. I thought they played well despite the circumstances. Now you have the squad of Memphis coming through and it does look like all hands are on deck, but we see this a lot. These big spreads a team comes in and they think because of either injury or record, ah, we're going to cruise. And it seems like we've been able to take advantage of this more often than not with the mentality of a squad like Memphis just coming in and saying, we got this thing. Now, I don't think the Jazz are going to have that same fate with the Philadelphia 76ers. I just think this is a close game. Jazz plus five right now. I'd love that at six. I mean, ideally seven. But in this case, I'd love it at at six. We're not going to get six. But the Jazz will keep this close. The Jazz have a couple of areas where it's Mike Conley, heavy ball handling, distro spot right there. That's going to be tougher to slow down. Also, some ISO guys like Jordan Clarkson, Laurie Markkinen stretching the floor. Yeah, Joel Embiid's going to destroy anyone in front of him, and I have no doubt about that. But the Jazz, a sneaky, tough matchup, I think, for the Sixers. And Utah is fine with taking a lot of threes. Philadelphia is going to be a little uncomfortable doing that that's where i think you can slide in here for a closer game at home i know utah disappointed although marketing came through but still it's just it's back to back that's why they're not getting much benefit here the doubt all right let's go to Lamelo over three and a half speaking of threes we're gonna eat some chalk here at minus 145 but i'm okay with this Lamelo ball is de facto offense right now like You need this man to take 10, 11 threes to stay in this basketball game tonight. It's basically it. Not hit 10, 11 threes, but you basically need the guy to take 11 threes. If LaMelo Ball in the stat sheet doesn't have 11 attempts from three, the Hornets aren't in this game. And by in this game, it's probably a nine-point-plus deficit at that point. So get out of here. And here's another thing, too. Who's going to step in his way? It's now shaded to the under for Terry Rozier at two and a half. Oh, how the mighty. Seriously, LaMelo is really the only offense they have consistently from three that you can count on. A couple of caveats throughout, but that's where we're going with our third play. All right, we're going back to this well, and I don't give a shit. You can say whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. You can leave as negative and heinous and ugly as a comment. So long as YouTube accepts it, that's fine with me. But we're going back to the volume. Pump up the volume, pump up. Okay, I'm not, I'm not. I promised you. I promised you ahead of time. I wasn't going to do that, right? I almost got like that far into it to where it was going to be unforgivable. But I stopped. I did. I stopped. Gary Trent Jr. over two and a half made threes. Let's just get this out of the way. All right. We love volume here. We love jacking it up. Level 11. And with Gary Trent in a case against the Hawks, this is a track meet that's waiting to happen. And mainly, even if you go under, which we talked about, right, on the locks and leans and the others, you're still under 233. I think you get to 229, 231. Gary Trent Jr. is going to be a big vehicle of success, and he better shoot the, he better shoot a lot of threes tonight. Speaking of which, hey, 
know, at some point, teams are going to catch up and put a couple of guys on Luka Doncic every single time they possibly can. I also really like Tim Hardaway Jr. in this matchup. I don't think you're going to see much from Portland where you just have an outlet now. You have a consistent outlet now for Luka. And Dallas knows that Portland starts cooking. This is all about how you see this game, right? Lillard's on the board right now. So we anticipate that there's going to be some shootout potential. There's going to be some three-point shootout potential. And Portland is going to put a lot of pressure, a lot of bodies on Luka, rotate throughout, do what they can, multiple levels of defense, and that's going to open some things up. And, and look, without Christian Wood, you really have an even greater chance of the focus of that outlet being on Tim Hardaway Jr. Five bets, five minutes. I even worked in that pump up the volume thing for you. <laughs> I know that was terrible. Sorry. All right, let's run it back. But first, I told you five bets in five minutes. How about I give you five dollars into two hundred instantly, like that? All you need to do is just place a wager. Let's start over. All you need to do is place a wager. So click a link below. This is going to take you 90 seconds out of your day. That's all 90 seconds. You're brand new. You're in a state that's brand new. You've held off on DraftKings forever for whatever reason. I don't care. I'm just trying to fix that issue right now. With, I'm just going to give you something in return. Now, you must be 21 or older. And if you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. Here's how it works. Click that link below, all part of the 90 seconds. Click that link below. Sign up. Link an account. Bank account. Five, whatever. PayPal. Deposit five. Five, only five dollars. Immediately bet that five dollars on the Pittsburgh Penguins to beat the Carolina Hurricanes. Who cares? Who cares if they win? Who cares if they lose? Who cares about any of that shit? Who cares when the game starts? Who cares when the game ends? As soon as you physically place the wager, you're going to get two hundred dollars right back into your account. As soon as you physically place the wager. All right. How simple and easy is that? Five into two hundred. Here's the five and five. Pacers plus eight and a half, Jazz plus five, over three and a half LaMelo ball threes, over two and a half Gary Trench threes, over three and a half Tim Hardaway threes. Now, on your way out, Discord activity. Your first week is free. The code is ES Insider. First week is free. The code is ES Insider. First week is free. Another night, five and one on the night. This is insane what we're doing in college basketball. We were nine and two going into the night since Monday. And look, I mean, this is just ridiculous, ridiculous. Shots on goal, college basketball player props, it doesn't matter. We are destroying right now on the Discord. One more screenshots. I got screenshots. I got screenshots. I told you about college basketball. Ben Raza and Makajeski are the kings. I'm just hanging. But if I'm keeping up even like this, then you know the Discord is destroying. And by the way, your first week's free. Did I mention that? Your first week's free. What the hell are you doing? Come on, sign up. Your first week's free. We'll see you. By the way, we'll see you. A reminder, here's how it goes on DraftKings. You have a QR code for you as well. It's all there for you. Have a great weekend.